Thank you so very much for listening. I want to share with you a real quick thought on this matter that I've heard all of my life as a Christian, and that is that we are to look unto Jesus. We think of so many passages. I think of the passage in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 2 and verse 3, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God, for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. I think about so many exhort exhortations that are given to us in the scripture concerning this matter of looking unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Folks, that's where our joy is. That's where our recovery comes from, is to dwell upon the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. I think that's so very important that we do that. And I would encourage you, say, how do I do that? How do I look unto the Lord Jesus? How do I focus upon him? Well, we go to the Bible. We go to the Word of God. I think about a passage like 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. You see, dear folks, it is looking to the Lord, and we look to him through his word. Let me encourage you to read the Gospels. Let me encourage you to read the entirety of the Word of God. It refers to the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember when I was in uh, Bible college many years ago, one of the books that was recommended to us was a book by uh, Roy and Revel Hessen, We Would See Jesus. My, what a great little book to encourage us to look to the Lord Jesus. Good, good exhortation in a devotional style that will be a blessing to you. I'm reminded of another passage in Acts chapter 8, in verses 5. The scripture says, Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. See, he was the focus of the message of the gospel. And verse 8 says, And there was great joy in that city. I declare unto you that we need to focus our minds and our hearts upon the study of the person of Jesus Christ, God's Son. And if you know him, your Savior and your Lord and your God, let me exhort you today to go to the Word of God and ask the Lord, Lord, show me Jesus. Show me Jesus. And my friend, you'll see a change take place in your heart and life, in your desires. Thank you so very much for listening. God bless you now. <music>